Hey guys, what is up? It is Matt here, and welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys see by the title of today's video, we have the official Baruto Chapter 78 leaks. These came out yesterday, Thursday the 16th, and um, this chapter is definitely a lot to strap in. We'll jump right on into it. I meant to have this video out yesterday, but things got a little bit complicated, and I couldn't have the video out today, or yesterday, so it's coming out today. But before we jump into the leaks, as you see right here on the channel, we're at 696 subs. Uh, four away from 700 subscribers if you want to feel free and hit that subscribe button. It's free um, Yeah, anyway, let's jump right into the leaks what you guys are here for here We go Abdul Zolduck 2 Baruch of chapter 78 cover page title a big fool or a big idiot Viz might go with a different approach there it is Naruto rocking some blue in the cover um, Naruto got sent to another dimension last chapter so I don't know why he's on the cover probably because that was a big plot point But like I said um, this chapter is a lot so get ready Chad Rosen was, everyone panicked because Naruto and Hinata's chakra disappeared. Shikamaru has Ida, uh, I've been pronouncing Ida wrong the whole time. It's Ada, according to the anime. Ada, to confirm if it was Kaoki, and Ada says yes. Baruto can't believe it and runs to the crime scene. Himawari is there. There's the broken picture. Um, I guess this is the chakra sensory division to see what's going on. Himawari is shocked because she doesn't know what's going on. Baruto's shocked and Sarda is shocked. Uh, I mean, everyone's kind of in turmoil right now, to be honest with you. There's Barzo, he's running out of there. And we see Ada flashback in time to see that it was Kawaki and Barzo having, the, or um, Naruto having this conversation. Ada casually drops the bomb. Judging by the way he was talking to, to, to Naruto, I'm afraid he's planning to kill you again, Barzo. Sarda says, what do you mean kill him again? Sarda decides to go to Barzo, just can't leave him knowing he is in danger. So there's the reveal of, I guess, um, Ada saying that everyone is shocked. And Sarda is getting ready. She's getting ready to head out. She's going to go head out to the scene too. Kawaki, uh, Kawaki attacks Baruto and confirms that what happened to Naruto and Hinata was his doing. He further states they are in a dimension where time stops so they won't grow old or start death, but Baruto will never see them again. So Baruto comes using his karma to make the portal somewhat of what Kawaki did last um, chapter. There he is, Baruto activating the karma and jumping out of the portal. Um, Kawaki is ready to fight Baruto. And... Oh wow, he's using Ishiki's Dojutsu to uh, shrink the rods and the cues, and I guess we will see what happens there. Kawaki begins to attack Baruto. Baruto tries to talk Kawaki out of it, but Kawaki says that Baruto has died because he's no Tsuki. This is where the battle begins. There it is, um, reminiscent of uh, Ishiki versus Baron with Naruto. He used the, what do you even call it? Sakuna? Maybe? I forget what the eye is called. To make those bigger. We keep going. Barto dodges it in base form. Keep in mind, he is dodging all this in base form. No karma is activated right now. Um, he blocks Kawaki's arm with a kunai again. See, we see no karma. This is base form Barto to let everyone know. And then Kawaki seems to hit him. Kawaki has his karma activated as we see. Next, we see Kawaki thought he went for the final punch. But Barto unleashes his wrath and says, You can't. T you can talk yourself out of this one, you bastard. Uh, Viz might go with a different word. All hell is breaking loose. So there we go, Barzo in his karma. Look how badass he looks right there. That is a sick panel. Um, did he use a massive Rasengan to break that is what it looks like. Because look how big the aura is between the Rasengan. And that seems to be the Rasengan. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, here we go. The fight's breaking loose. And Kawaki kicks Barto, And then Barto comes back. Probably a Shadow Clone, I would assume. Sarda enters the scene and also tries to stop Kawaki, but Kawaki won't stop and says if she gets in the way, she will die too. Barto has Sarda to run because Kawaki will kill her. But Sarda says that the future Hokage, I can't let that happen. Um, yeah, Sarda joins the battle. And here we go. She's going to protect Barto because it seems like Barto got hit. Barto's karma pattern looks sick right here, to be honest with you. And then we get to the next. It is going down. Get ready. Just prep yourself. Here we go. Kawaki prepares to kill Sarda with his next attack. As I thought, you Shinobi are doomed to die in early death. Barto saves Sarda from Kawaki slash. So, Kawaki is about to kill Sarda here. It seems like she is just frozen, to be honest. She doesn't know what to do in this situation. Barto jumps in the way. I wonder what could happen next. Barto has the scar. He gets the scar from the time skip. It is finally here. Kawaki is the one that causes the scar. To Barto and Kawaki is standing over menacingly. That is just peak fiction right there. Shikamaru, Konohamaru, and Mitsuki all arrive at the scene. Shikamaru blinds Kawaki and uses Shadow Process while Mitsuki wraps his hands around Kawaki. So Shadow Process, you know, takes a hold of Kawaki from doing any further damage, and Mitsuki wraps his arm around 
uh, Kawaki's hand and stuff like that. And then Sasuke in grand entrance comes back. I'm sorry, Kawaki, it's over. But if you resist, I'll have to kill you. There he is, Sasuke. Dude, this is crazy. When I first saw this, I honestly thought that Kawaki was going to use his ability and just like put a hole through Sasuke right here. But since he's in Shadow Paralysis, he kind of can't. But Sasuke is back. Momoshiki awakens and helps Kawaki. Tells Kawaki to run away. Baruto's no longer in control. This is all Momoshiki's doing. So we see the scar. Momoshiki awakens. Uh, sucks up the jutsu from what it seems. And yeah, sucks up the jutsu and tells Kawaki to run. Now, I saw a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I said. Sasuke about to put a hole put through him, isn't he? That's what I thought initially. But uh, Kawaki runs because we do know that the future that Momoshiki showed. Kawaki is running away and they find him and stuff like that. A lot of people are confused by this, um, wondering what's going on. You have to realize that if Momoshiki wants to eat the chakra fruit, Kawaki is his only sacrifice, so he can't have him die. That's why he's making him run away. The last page, Momoshiki tells Baruto, you lost it, little boy, the blue eye. This is very confusing because I don't know if he's referring to the Jugon, as he doesn't mention it by name, just blue eye. Please don't panic, could be something else. Um, here we go, Momoshiki's consciousness is fading as, you know, they see each other combined. But look! Look at this. They are not showing the eye for Baruto. They are not show I don't know if he's holding it because his eye is cut and it's just, you know, like an, a natural reaction to hold your cut eye, but they are not showing it. The Jugon could be showing up. And that is pretty much it. Um, a translation for the last page, if you guys want to uh, read it. You lost little boy, the blue eye. I imagine you are already aware of this, but this is just the beginning. From now on, you will start to lose everything in the blink of an eye. There's no stopping the flow of time anymore. The, uh, the end has already started. So, this chapter is crazy. That That's all I can really say. If you guys are excited for the chapter, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.